So basically now, I get off the car, I put this awning up, um, it basically gives me a bit of shelter in this area as well, and it sort of prever preserves the um, convenience of a, a self-supporting awning, and now it is self-supporting, I'm pretty glad that. Um, and this is basically the, uh, this 180 degrees area is where we sort of sleep and it's where we sort of um, do most things sit down, enjoy and uh, whatever things you can you can imagine anyway Have you ever felt Are you listening? Damn uh. Yeah Good day, folks. Welcome to 4x4 Adventure WA. I'm Derek. I'm all for four wheel driving, camping, and adventure. Uh, through that, I might have some DIY projects and product reviews. So, through, uh, through the process, I share my experience to every viewers. Now, if you like the content that I create, please press the button down there. There is a subscribe button next to the subscribe button. Now, this time we are going to talk about awning. Uh, in particular, the 270 degree freestanding uh, free awning. Now, there are quite a few different ones available. Um, I can name of a few brands. There's an Alucap, very expensive um, uh, awning. Uh, Ostrich Wing, that is what I'm using. Uh, it's also pretty expensive, but it's more affordable. Um, there's a 23 Zero copycat awning, and uh, something like Dachi as well. Uh, they're all pretty good products. Uh, but they all share the same sort of idea. Uh, you need some, obviously, big structure to mount on. All right, let me do a quick search about uh, self-supporting awning. So ostrich wing awning is what I've been using. Um, not associated with them, but uh, they are good. They are great products. Um, that's not the main point, by the way. So the way that the 270 self-supporting awning is going to be mounted on a car is either you see this is a wagon um, or something like a can uh, you, you've got a canopy you can mount this sort of awning very very easily what if you have an, um, a dual cab ute does it mean you have to have a canopy or some bar works for uh, for an awning like this to go on top of a dual cab ute the answer is no, and I'm going to show you how to have it done. Right, let me explain to you how this works. So I use this as an awning. Let me use this uh, to demonstrate ostrich wing awning. So ostrich wing awning opens like this. So this is a view from the top, by the way. Uh, it opens like this. When it gets opened, um, it sort of gets pulled to the other side. And now that forms uh, 270 degrees. Okay. So we, we're talking about uh, some, some science in here, some physics. When it gets open to 90 degrees, the torque experienced by the main awning body is the greatest. So torque is basically um, uh, a term that would describe the rotational force. So, and that is why this hinge needs to be very, very strong. And you preferably want to have some supporting structure as close to the hinge as possible otherwise if you don't have anything here supporting this hinge the whole awning will be twisted and is very prone to to be damaged and not to mention the self-supporting properties it would not be self-supporting anymore Good day, folks. Um, I mean, my friend's place again. So I've just moved that, or oh, uh, it's not an awning, it's a platform up there. We haven't bolted it down yet, but we're just trying to, to see how, how well it sits. It actually looks pretty good. And, um, and trying the position of the awning as well. Um, so now we know what sort of thing we need and the brackets that we need. We, we went to Bunnings and bought something. And uh, later on, hopefully, 
we have enough time to mount all that things on there. Folks, so the awning's up. We've tested open uh, opening the awning, uh, and um, after a lot of talking, we consider this awning uh, is no longer a freestanding awning. That's a little bit disappointed, but uh, hopefully we can fix this. You see the blue triangle there. This is a ratchet strap, and it's trying to put put a bit of tension on the at the end of the awning. Uh, to avoid it from twisting. When it gets open to 90 degrees, the torque experienced by the main awning body is the greatest. Um, yeah, we didn't think about it uh, before we uh, we put a, put the brackets up. And we have to actually rely on the guy ropes to avoid the, the awning from, dis from, from being destroyed by the winds. Uh, so we... Um, um, We'll work something out. Uh, a simple project, just moving the awning from the back to the front, has turned uh, into a more complicated one. So you see the, the bracket there, we, we w really want to strengthen it up. So we're trying to put a gusset, something like this, to, and weld, weld them up uh, and add a little bit more strength. And the uh, strap there, we're going to put some framework sturdy framework to hold the back so it doesn't twist. Okay, so the other day I mentioned about uh, the blue triangle and I've made a brace for that. Um, it's basically like this, so it, uh, it is pretty firm, it holds tension from top and the bottom and it prevents the awning from flipping over this way once it's open 90 degrees like that. And also a bit of update of the braces, we put the gussets on, on the braces so it makes it a lot more stable. I've um, I've mounted the awning this way, so when I go for wheel driving, it's not um, it's not hanging out this way as much as before. So it pro sort of protects the awning a little bit, uh, but it gives me a problem of access. Uh, how do I access these zippers down there? So is it is, isn't it a problem? So what I've done is to extend these zippers by using one of the scrap. Uh, rope, I suppose. I've got previously, I've cut out uh, from something and uh, that makes it a lot easier to open. It's like that. It's pretty good, eh? So I just want to show you how we sort of open the awning now. So, folks, as you can see, the awning becomes self-supporting again. 
I'm pretty happy about what I've done in the, in the past few days. Adding a brace on that does really make a huge difference. And also uh, the gussets on the L brackets, they help a, a lot. And now basically the, the support um, grabs the other end of the platform. And when, you, when this awning moves, the whole platform actually moves and the, the uh, sort of force gets transferred to the whole car and down to the suspension, the, the whole car actually moves that way. So it's actually a really, really stable system now. I'm pretty happy about it. All right, folks, that's basically it. Uh, it's been a few days of hard work and I'm so glad that everything worked out perfectly. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, my outdoor adventures and DIY projects, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I really like you to do that. Give me a thumbs up and press the notify bell button just down there. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.